Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all ill by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEPS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School, Morning Shift. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. So our lecture number 12 and our SW number 7. So my dear student and our today's topic is exercise 3 which is in page number 20. From that exercise we shall solve question number 7 and 8 as your CW and question number 9 will be your SW. I repeat question number 9 will be your SW. Dear student, I hope all of you have this book. This is MB book and from page number 20 we shall solve question number 7 and 8. I have already written these two questions on the board and question number 9 is not written on the board. You must do that number as your SW. Okay. So my dear student, first of all we shall solve question number C. First of all we read the question. Mr. Jalal's monthly salary is 8,765 taka. Every month he spends 3225 taka one house rent and 4850 taka one other items and he saves the rest of the money in a bank what will be his saving in eight months dear student we have already read the question now we shall make a plan how to solve this math so in order to make the uh, make up the plan we read the question again. Here, Mr. Jalal monthly salary is 8,765 taka. And every month, he spends 3,225 taka on house rent and 4,850 taka on other items. So, at first, we find out his total cost. How can we add his house rent and other uh, and expenses on other items that means we add 3225 with 4850 taka then we get the total cost after that we subtract that total cost from his monthly salary and we get an amount and that amount will be saved in a month okay in a month he saved a amount then in eight months he saved how many amount we do multiplication and we get the answer i hope you have understood so when we solve this math and it is it is easier for you to understand so question number seven first of all we write find out the total expenses okay mr jalal total expenses Mr. Jalal total expenses for house rent and other items is okay. So here 3225 plus 4850 taka. Now we do addition. At first we do once place digits addition here 5 plus 0 it is 5 no carrying 5 to it is 7 8 to 10 from 10 I write here 0 carrying 1 that one is added with this 4 it is 5 5 and 3 it is 8 so 8075 taka is the total cost of Mr. Jalal okay so and his monthly salary is 8765 taka so we need to find out the monthly savings now write his monthly savings is 8765 minus total expenses which is 8000 75 taka now we do subtraction okay 
5 5 if we subtract 5 from 5 then we get 0 7 to 6 that means 6 is smaller than 7 we consider this is 16 so now we subtract 7 from 16 and we get 9 carrying 1 that one is added with this 0 it is 1 so 1 to 7 it need 6 and 8 minus 8 it is 0 no need to write 0 so here taka so his monthly saving what do you mean by his monthly saving monthly saving means in one month he saves 690 taka but the question ask you to find what will be his saving in eight months so he, now we write in one month he saves 690 taka and in eight months he saves how much taka so write in one month he saves 690 taka therefore in eight months he saves 690 multiply by 8 taka okay now we do addition uh, multiplication 800 zero, zero. 8 9 jar 72 from 72 i write here 2 carrying 7 8 6 jar 8 6 jar 48 48 plus 7 55 so 5520 taka will be saved in 8 months as this is the solution so we must write this as answer so dear student this is the solution of question number seven i hope you have understood okay if you if you can understand this math please do this math at your cw copy if you do then it is easier for uh, you to understand next we shall solve question number eight in order to solve question number eight we erase question number seven So my dear student, first of all, we did the question here. Forida and Fatima's salary is 19,950 taka in total. That means the total monthly salary of Forida and Fatima is 19,950 taka. Fatima gets 2,450 taka more than Forida. How much did Forida and Fatima's salary of them? That means, my dear students, we need to find out the separate salary of Forida and Fatima by using these two information. Okay. My dear student, in order to solve this math, at first I want to give you a, a small example. Suppose Mina and Raju. Do you know who is Mina and who is Raju? And yes, this is I take this two example from Mina cartoon and it is favorite to me and I hope all of you favorite this cartoon too. So my dear student Mina and Raju and consider their total salary is 20 taka. I repeat their total salary is 20 taka. Okay. And Another example, uh, another information is Mina gets four taka more than Raju. Okay, so we need to find out the Mina's salary and also Raju's salary. So, how can dear student notice Raju gets? 4 taka less than Mina. Do you understand? Raju get 4 taka less than Mina. So, we subtract this 4 taka from this total amount. Okay, I repeat. We subtract this 4 taka from this total amount. And we get the amount that is equal to, uh, that is the equal salary of uh, both. Okay. So, 20 minus 4 
and we get 16. 16 is the equal salary of both. That means Mina and Raju's equal salary is 16. If we divide this 16 by 2, then we get Raju's salary, so which is 8. And you notice Mina gets 4 taka more than Raju. Okay, so 8 plus 4 it is 12 so this is the salary of mina and this is the salary of raju dear student do you understand how can we solve this math i hope you can easily solve this math by using this example okay so here suppose forida is mina and fatima is raju so their total salary is 19,950 taka in total. Fatima gets 2,450 taka more than that of Forita. Dear student, here you notice the information is mixed. As a result, we consider Forida is Raju and Fatima is Mina. Then it is similar as this example. Okay. So Fatima gets 2,450 taka more than that of Forida. So first of all we find out the Forida's amount. How can we subtract this amount from this amount? This, then we uh, divide this result by 2 and we get the Forida's amount. After that we add Forida's amount with 2450 and we get Fatima's amount. Okay. So write first Eight number question. Given that Forida and Fatima's total salary is nineteen thousand nine hundred and fifty taka. And Fatima gets two thousand four hundred fifty taka more than Forida. Now we shall find out the Forida's amount. Forida gets. 19,950 minus 2,450 divided by 2 taka. Now, at first we do subtraction 0, 0, 5, 7 and 1. 0, 0, 5, 7 and 1 divided by 2 taka now we do division 8 to the 16 carrying on that means 15 in 15 to goes in 7 times 7 to the 14 so 8550 taka is the salary of forida now we find out the fatima salary Fatima gets 8750 plus 2450 taka. Now 0, 5, 5, 10 carrying on 4 and 5, 11, 12, 11 taka. So 11,200 taka is the Fatima's amount. Now we write answer. Fatima's salary 11,200 taka and Forida's salary, salary 8,750 
taka i hope you have understood dear student this is our today's cw question number 7 and 8 so dear student next question number 8 uh, question number 9 of this page that means in page number 20 will be your sw i read the question raju and ronnie together have 690 leases ronnie has 86 leases less than raju how many leases do raju and ronnie have which is similar as question number eight i hope you can easily solve this math okay so my dear student this is our today's lecture i hope you have understood my today's lecture keep practicing at home and you must submit your assign sw in our school library in every saturday within 9 am to 3 pm so see you soon till then assalamu alaikum